Hmm. In today's episode, we're sculpting this, which means we're carving this into this. We'll show you how we do it, work some mad detailing magic, recap our sculpture, and dazzle you with breathtaking cinematics. Looking for top five entertainment in just 40 minutes? Then park it right here and stick around. Hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and you have made your way back to Pengasus Bay. <laughs> As you can see, it's another beautiful day in the bay, and we're looking in at the subject of today's build, which is our Interchange Ridge part of town. It's this odd-shaped space here that's nestled gently between Crestwind Farms, the Crestwind Cape, and this freeway that runs right through town. Now, I thought, let's tackle this space today because I want to work up through this space, maybe one of these, you know, two spaces, a couple of these spaces here as we build our way into downtown eventually here. And so this seemed like a good place to start. But before we jump in and tackle that, I want to take you back across the bay real quick, like to our south tunnel entrance here, the Bay Pass Tunnel that we built in our last episode. We got lots of great feedback, lots of great comments. And one of the pieces of feedback I saw, and I agree with, is that this decline here is just too sharp. It's about a nine degree decline from, from the top of this ridge all the way down to that tunnel entrance. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back in here and I'm going to decrease that slope. I'm gonna really soften that grade starting from the tops of this little ridge right here and bringing that down back into our tunnel. Now, I'll probably do that off camera just because it's going to be kind of tedious, monotonous work and isn't going to be really sexy. But, you know, rest assured, we're going to tackle that and get that taken care of. And then another thing, too, we had a lot of people commenting about how our railway just kind of dead ended out here in the water. That's OK. That was per our plan. And it's going to ultimately emerge in this space here. And uh, we're going to be building out a tunnel emergence up here with our rail line coming out and heading on into downtown. And you can rest assured, it's going to be in that Pangasus Bay nautical themed build. It's going to look really neat. But anyhow, let's jump back over here and focus on today's build. The Interchange Ridge area, where we've got two distinct spaces. One down here along the freeway, and then one into this corner here. So in this space over here, my intent is to build like a little office park back in here. Something that's going to be, you know, maybe four story, three and four story office buildings in this space. And it wouldn't look wildly out of place against a farm in the background. I think that would be a nice little transition as we head towards downtown. And then in this space here, I envision commercial and real estate. In fact, I've been eyeing this little corner down here for a couple of episodes now, just thinking that this would make a great little commercial stop down here, kind of in a North American style design where you might have a gas station, grocery store, convenience stores, that sort of stuff right down in this corner with some residential sitting right in behind it over here. So that's what we're gonna be tackling today. I know I just threw a ton at you guys and we've got a lot to do today. So let's jump in and, uh, and start tackling this space. And with all that as a backdrop, let's do this. All right, so as we're looking into this space that is the industrial slash office park, I wanna frame it up with some, you know, kind of more natural looking boundaries, if you will. We've got some man-made boundaries that are really clear, right? This rail line here on one side, and then we've got the freeway and power towers on the other side. And if you notice, if we zoom in here, you've got some lumps and bumps here that are you know, natural. What I'd like to do is kind of rework that and ex accentuate that, if you will, bring it a little closer to the power towers, have it run all the way down along the edge of this area here, just to frame up the space nicely. And then I'll come back here in the middle and I'll flatten it all out to give us a nice landing pad for all of our uh, office and industry build out. All right, so let's tackle that first. I'm gonna grab our, let's see, our level terrain tool. And I'm gonna come in here and set a level. Let's just pick this one in particular. And we'll just push that out. And I wanna go ahead and do that so that it gives us a nice landing spot. And then I wanna grab the shift terrain tool and, and take our brush strength down to about 30% and our brush size down to about 50. And I just want to raise the elevation, eh, maybe starting here ever so slightly. I'll do that. And then I'll come down all the way down to the other end here and do the same thing. I'm going to put that in right about there. And what I want to do here is just create a natural flowing berm that moves right along the edge of these towers and acts as a natural looking barrier. Look at that. Milestone 18 unlocked. Expansive Metropolis. Very nice. Yeah, we'll get a few more, uh, you know, a few more dollars in the bank and some more build points and a lot more squares, which is always great. I want to try and get this whole map unlocked. All right, let's close that out. So part of this is 
you know, we've got that that really obvious berm in place. And now with that in place, I can come back in here and again, grab this train here and push that all the way up against the berm. Now we can soften it up. It looks really harsh, doesn't it? Let's go in here and soften this up. There. So now when we get in close here like this, you can see it's this natural looking earthworks that runs right along the freeway here. All right, so next up on our plan here is I wanna open up this map uh, up here, the little windows down here and show you the telecom window. And the telecom window shows that we've got some pretty poor coverage in this space that we're building in. And in fact, if I skip across the freeway here, you see Crestwind Cape, not real great coverage over there either. And then if you look into the downtown area, it's positively abysmal. So we're gonna add telecom service in this space. And I thought the best way to do that is to use our server farm. And our server farm, I'd like it to kind of plop down in this area right down in here. Uh, you know, maybe maybe just uh, alongside the train tracks here, between the train tracks and that berm up there by the freeway. But in order to do that, I need to put in a road first. So let's grab, a, I wanna have this road maybe run a little parallel to this railroad track. So I'm just gonna bring up a gravel road as a placeholder here. I'll grab our two lane road here and just run off at a 90 degree angle from our gravel road. And that establishes our baseline. And now I can delete that little gravel road out of there and we've got something to work with. We'll just run that out here until out of the horizon. And then we'll run this one out here until it gets out to a point where this curve really starts to creep in on us. And I think if we get to about there, then we should be able to just run this jog straight up here. Yeah, I wanna run this road up just to the point where it kind of dead ends right at the berm. And then that allows us to grab our server farm and I can orient that hopefully like this. Let's just drop it in and see. And if, it, if it's a problem, we can always reorient it. Yeah, it's probably a little snug in there, although that's a side of the building that I don't think anybody's gonna access. So maybe we can just kind of clean that up uh, in the in the detailing time lapse. But I think this looks good. Now we've got our server farm in there. And if I pop up my little telecom map, we should have much better coverage now. Yeah, see it's green all around there. Still a little bit to work on over here, but I can upgrade that right away too. See, I can increase the coverage area. Sure, why not? And I can also increase the network capacity. So again, let's do that. And now, how does that look? Did it make a difference? Maybe a little bit. I mean, it's not too bad in here. All right, well, we're making progress. Now with that building in place, we need to add some road access into this space. And I'd like to, you know, maybe come down here towards this end of the uh, development here and bring in a two lane road and just have it cross over there and, and reconnect up on this side with our main arterial road. And we could do that at a 90 degree angle. If I just take a quick look in here. Yeah, and now we can come back over to the other side here and, uh, Let's just come right off of that. I want to grab that elevation and also have that appear on this side. And then just have that run straight across until it bottoms out, which is there at 72 meters. Yeah, and you've got a really nice bridge feature here as well. Now I can just bend this right back down into our main arterial and we'll grab our slope terrain tool. We're going to grab this elevation down in here and then we'll just start working our way from here down into that. And that'll be nice. It'll be a nice gentle curve coming in. In fact, I'll come off of here at a 90 degree angle for a little ways. Maybe, yeah, let's, let's do 80 meters. That, that's fine, that's fine. And then we'll just go simple curve. We'll bring that back into uh, this road here and attach. Yeah, those are about the same length. And so it'll be a nice steady curve making its way through there. Now we'll just come in and soften that up. And then this little triangular space down in here, since it's got this natural grade, I'd like to keep that natural grade. And maybe we can come in here with some bushes and trees and just, you know, decorate that out. Uh, maybe just, you know, add some nature to it, if you will. So the next building I want to add into this place is the park maintenance depot. And I want to do so by, first of all, grabbing an alley here. Yeah, let's grab this alley. And we're just going to run this out, not straight, but at a little offset angle. We'll bring it out to here just for now. And then I want to get that park maintenance depot and put that right into this space right in here. I think that's probably a good spot right there. And then I'm going to take this alleyway and I'm going to frame this up because there's a lot of concrete. There's a lot of, you know, extra concrete around that building. And I'll just run that straight out. And then we'll just trim up the edges. One, two, three. Yeah. 
And then that park maintenance depot is pretty cool because it's got that curve element to it. We've used this in this application before where you've got a curve of the building that's kind of trying to match the curve of the landscape. I think that'll be a nice addition in that space. And then let's just put in a uh, office building here. I'm going to take it off of that corner, just one. Let's just see if I can go five by six there. Yeah, I can. Okay, great. That leaves me a little bit of room for planting in there. I want to circle around the other side of this server farm. And if you notice out back here, there's a little employee break area slash eating area. And in fact, there's even like this little vending machines and a spuds hut. <laughs> I guess you can get baked potatoes for lunch. And uh, I want to come in and you know frame that up. We're gonna start by setting down some sidewalks. So the sidewalk one, two, three, four, about there. If I come out here just to put this into place, that gives us an area where that's as close as those the backs of those office buildings can be to this over here. And so then I wanna grab a alley road. Let's do that. And I know that I want my buildings to be about six deep. And that this circle, if you will, on the outside is about six deep. So if I run this alley straight out here, and then I come into, let's see here. If I come into this space and add a central road coming through there, here, and come straight out of there, and then I need to put in a parking lot kind of in the center of this. So we're going to do one, two, we're going to leave a space here. We're going to come out with a road this far and just run that straight down into here. I want to drop in a parking lot, large parking lot, and see if that fits in there. It does. Yeah, that fits just fine in there. We'll do like that. And then I'll come in on the other side and, and run that road back down on the other side. And then let's see here, how far, there's three squares there. Let's get this alley road and come out so it's three squares out. And hopefully we'll have some zonable squares in here. And this is where we're gonna go. We're gonna go, so if I go one, two, three, four, five, and come out six, and then I do the same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, come out six. And let's do the same thing on the other side. And then we frame that up with other additional buildings here. So I'm gonna leave this one one off of the edge here. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. And then does that fit? One, two, three, four, five. Eh, it's not centered up, but that's that's gonna be okay. Maybe we'll do six by six. Can you do six by six? Yeah, you can, all right. So these are gonna be nice big office buildings here. And uh, you know we'll see what spawns in there, but we've got a nice big parking lot in there so the employees can come in and park in this space here. And these office buildings, will, when they fully mature, will probably be about three or four stories tall. And uh, we've left some space in between here to just do some decorative plantings. I think that's gonna turn out really nicely. So the next thing we wanna drop in here, since we've got a little bit of space, is I can put two by six industrial buildings in here. And if I do that, chances are pretty good it's going to spawn some sort of a, um, you know, maybe a warehouse or something along that line. Yeah, so then this will frame up nicely, this will frame up nicely, and so will that. All right, so on to the next piece. There's one more piece I want to drop into this space that I think is, is going to look kind of cool in here. And that is our, let's see, go here, emergency battery station. This is a really big asset, but I think it's going to fit in well with kind of a, an industrial park look when it's all said and done. So I'm going to I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to peel back that berm that we created just to give us a little bit bigger space in here. Let's grab that cool looking energy power station here, the battery backup, if you will. And let's drop that in so it's kind of right here. It's not immediately after you come in off of this bridge, but it's you know it's right next to it. And uh, you know there's just a little bit of a gap here that we can fill in nicely. And then we have to come in here and go underground with one of these big power lines, connect that in. We're just gonna connect that right into that piece there. And now our big battery backup station, emergency battery station is online. Yeah, that'll be great. Next up, tackling some residential and commercial right over here. Before we jump in here and start building in this space, we need to do some terraforming. And I want to grab an elevation that seems to be fairly common. And I think that one's pretty good there. It's a nice in-between elevation because I'd like to really preserve this hill up here and really some of these features that come down along here along this Fawn Street over here. And I need to create a nice big flat area for development, so let's just go ahead and do that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I think what it does is it accomplishes that, that goal, which is to keep this berm in place up here, this elevation up in place, that gives us a little separation between our freeway and where some residential is gonna be dropping in. Yeah, that'll work nicely. 
our next step is I want to, I envision kind of in my head, a corner store down in here, uh, just like a maybe it's going to be a supermarket or a larger store. And I think the way I want to accomplish that is I want to come out here, you know, maybe it's about there and draw a 45 degree line with an alleyway in there. And then I want to come in with some sidewalks because I need to, you know, change up, uh, mix up all my zoning squares, right? Uh, give priority to that alleyway that I just put in place. And I'm going to run this one all the way out, you know, out to here maybe. And then I want to try and find what's roughly the center line here, which I think looks like about right here. And I will build in a low density, North American low density commercial uh, that is five by six. So starting from here, one, two, three, four, five by six. Yeah. And we're going to let that spawn in. And then across the street from it, I want to drop in a big parking lot. Let's see here. Maybe we'll go with the large parking lot. Let's see what that looks like. If I pop that in. Yeah, that'll work just fine. Oh, maybe I better pause the game. Otherwise, we're going to have we're going to have some complaints over here. Let's do that. And then um, from here, now I want to figure out how to connect that in with this road. And, and I'm going to use this road as an entry point back into our, you know, into our neighborhood here. That's pretty straight. We're just going to drive this out for now, about 248 meters. That's fine. And then I want to pick a spot off of that and reattach this road over to this road. Let's do so though. Let's start from this side and anchor off a 90 degree angle and see if I can come all the way in here and keep that 90 degrees. Yeah, it looks like it can. Yeah, I like that. That keeps it away from that road a little bit. And let's use the same idea on this side. I want to come into this spot if I can and just run out here. For right now, we'll just run out to about there. Yeah, that feels pretty good. And then uh, we're going to go with just our regular two lane road in here. In fact, before I do that, I think what I'd like to do is just box up this, um, you know, this parking lot with some sidewalks. That's nicely squared up in there. And then we can come in and fill it in with some decorations kind of around that parking lot. And this can be kind of our big key anchor store for this little shopping district. Let's frame up some of our larger roads in here. When I say larger, they're only going to be two lane roads. Nothing really big is going to go into this space. But let's grab this guy and just run him right straight down along here and connect him up to this other road that's off in the distance. Yeah, I mean, that leaves us, that leaves us a pretty good space there, I think. I like the look of that. Yeah, yeah. And then I think what we can do now is come in and start adding some additional alleyways in here. Now, it kind of in my head, I had an idea of I'd like to put in some, you know, maybe a couple medium density apartment buildings in here. I may be a mixed use and a medium density in there as apartments. Um, just maybe some commercial down along here. I'd like to leave this uh, blank if I can just to fill it in with some green space just to, you know, buffer off from that big farm area over there. And, uh, and then drop in maybe a little bus stop in this space over here. I don't know, something along that line. Uh, let's see. So I've got that in place. Let's create a, an alley road that comes down maybe from here. Uh, use that spot where the road kind of breaks a little bit. Just drive all the way straight down into here. That's probably good. And then let's do something similar to that over in here where we just kind of grab, let's do this. So I'm going to come out through the middle of this one. We're going to come out there. And then I want to put in uh, one of those large parking lots again because we're going to need parking. Ooh, yeah, it just fits in that space, too. That's really nice. And will that allow me to have a roundabout in there still? Because I know how those finicky those can get sometimes. That's a small one. Can I get up to the next one? Yeah, I can. Ooh, cool. I can get a medium roundabout in there. And then what I want to do is come in using our alleyway, kind of right off the center of that if I can, or close to it anyways, and come out maybe 28 meters. That's probably good. And then go out 32. Can I do 32 again? Yeah. All right, let's do that. And then I want to change my zoning squares because I want to be able to zone off of this little road down here. And what that's done now is it's changed up our zoning squares. So it looks like I can do a little three by three building there. A little three by three building there. And those will probably be, I don't know, maybe a medium density in here. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe maybe two ma medium densities in here so they match up, mirror up. Maybe I'll do a mixed use one in here and I could probably draw a path right down the middle of that. Cool. All right, we'll go with that. We're going to have lots of little shops and stores and stuff down along in this little this L-shaped area here. And then we've got our apartments up in here. We've got plenty of parking there. And I want to run an alleyway, eh, maybe just right up along the side of that just to create another intersection here. 
Yeah, just to frame that up nicely. I think that'll look sharp. All right, so let's continue on with our road grid now. Uh, I want to come out of this roundabout here, maybe right out of the center of that. And I want to drive that out quite a ways. I'm going to turn on my terrains, contour lines. I'm going to drive that out. Well, let's just take it as far as we can go for now. And then from this side, here, let's just start anew right from the center here. And I'm going to push this out. I don't know. We'll just we'll start with we'll start with that for now. I'd like to build in some sort of like a little like a mini bus station in here. I don't know if it'll work. Let's see here. If I grab um, a bus lane here and I come up, I don't know, maybe about to there. And then I also come across maybe about to there and bring that back in. Then I come in and double click there, double click there. Can I erase? I can, I can do that. And then let's curve that in come out, bend that in. Yeah. And then we'll come in here and we're going to trim this back right here. And then can I cut that out? We'll just delete this one. And then we'll come in with that two lane road. I run right off the center of this and tie that into there. Now what I'm thinking is just have one bus stop shelter in there and then that should be just fine. Let's talk about this space down here. I think what I'd like to see happen here is Let's take another road, an alley that comes off of this. Just run that out, uh, maybe to about, yeah. And then let's kind of gently mimic this curve that's happening right here. If I come out here to about there and then shape this right into here, how does that look? Yeah, that looks pretty nice. We can now come in with an alleyway coming off of this road here. We can run that right straight out to there. Um, let's come out to here and use that kind of break in the road up there as our next intersection point. And then I can just come back down here and do the same down over here. And again, now we've got these interesting little spaces where we can um, we can put in lots of little small houses in here. So as I get further from the main drag here, I'm just I'm feeding in more alleys. And then what I'll do is I'll come in with sidewalks here and have them cut across like I'm doing here to create natural crosswalks. So hopefully the area remains pretty walkable when it's all said and done. All right, so that's pretty good. Oh, there's a couple of assets I really want to use in this space. And one of them is um, a soccer field. I want to put in a soccer pitch down here. That's what you guys call it over in the UK, right? A pitch? Yeah, I like that. Uh, let's see here. Parks, large sports parks. There we go. Soccer field. Ooh. Let's put that in there, but let's terraform that back just a little bit. It looks like it's going to crunch into that hill just a little bit. So I want to smooth that out, level it out just a little bit. We'll go in and drop that in. Let's see what we get. What do you think? Yeah, right along the railroad line there, right along the train track. Kind of like that. Yeah, right across from the bus station. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. And then let's drop in a crematorium in here because uh, we could use that in the area. Although I'm hesitant to put it right on top of uh, residential houses, but let's just see how it looks in that space. What would it look like if I swapped those two around? I think that might be a better look. And then I can come back here and again, just chip away ever so slightly at this, um, you know, at this hill back up in here. Having a park there centered up on this block might be kind of interesting, actually. Now we're going to jump in and start painting in our, our homes. Oh, this filled in nicely. What do we have here? <laughs> the Limsa Bar. I don't know. We'll see. As it levels up, will it change to something else? Oh yeah, we already have the police presence there. I don't know what's going on in the limbs of bar, but the police don't seem to like it. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see how that uh, that one forms up. Now let's paint in some of our, our buildings here. Now, as I recall, I was thinking about mixed use, but three by three is not an option for mixed use. So let's just go ahead and put in some North American medium density. Let's see what those look like. If I drop in one there and one there, that might be kind of nice. Then down along this this road here, I just want to put in some low density, you know, two by two businesses down there. Ah, three by two, two by two, that's probably going to be fine. Two by four populates in, okay. And then maybe another one there. 
and another one there, and then frame it up with a couple of commercials that are two by fours. Yeah, that'll grow in nicely like that. Let's go three by four down along this road here. And I'm gonna do that with all of this down here. I'm just gonna paint them in one, two, three, one, two, three. Down by our little bus station, I want to uh, put in some row houses. Just come right across here. Let's see here. And then drop in some North American row. I think that would be a good look in that space. Just kind of hanging out by the bus station. Let's see here. Uh, let's do that and that. And then we'll come back and do the same on this side. Yeah, leave just a little bit of space between that and the road. Yeah, some medium. Nor I mean, yeah, medium density North American row in that space is probably a good call. Yeah, and I wanted to put the row housing in closer to the bus station, uh, just a little higher density population there, maybe a little bit more likely to use the mass transit. Let's see what I got for parking. Let's grab a medium parking lot. How big is that? Well, let's just go ahead and drop that guy in there. Okay, so this feels like a really good spot for us to jump in and do a detailing time lapse. I obviously want to continue to paint in our residential squares down in here and some more of them down in this space, but I like the way this commercial is going to fill in really nicely in here. And then that office park looks pretty good here that everything's filled in nicely. And in fact, if I jump down in here, yeah, I mean, you can see these are some rather large buildings and we even got some storage silos and, and such down here uh, along the borders like I was anticipating would happen. And then um, as these mature and grow, it would be really nice if they changed the model kind of so that they're a little bit more like what's going on over in here but the only thing that's going to allow us to know that is is time <laughs> and fortunately we can speed through the game to make that happen well why don't you guys sit back relax enjoy the time lapse and let's connect back in here afterwards and we'll recap the sculpture
All right. Welcome back. And I give you Interchange Ridge. Say, this was a fun little episode here to build out because it was a really kind of a strange space that we were dealing with. We had that little thin strip of land up here on the top that's nestled in between the freeway and the railroad tracks. And then we had this little basin down here in the bottom. All right, let's just jump right on in. We started off with that server farm and we put that up on the ridge here overlooking the freeway. I wanted a big statement or an iconic piece in, in this corner and I think we accomplished it, much like we did with the tram depot across the way. And then tucked in behind it, we put these nice gardens back here so employees during their break time, they could come out, wander the gardens and just relax and unwind a little bit. All right, moving right along, we've got our office park in here. And our office park is great because we've got these three and four story buildings in here, some nice technology businesses in there, a little bit of industry without getting too big in this area. We didn't want skyscrapers. All right, moving right along, we've got our emergency battery station. I love the way that this one looks because it's got a, an industrial vibe without being too industrial. And then I nudged it back ever so slightly off the road here, which freed up some space in here to allow me to put in some bushes, some flowers, and a little hedge line there too. Just softened it up ever so slightly. All right, let's jump across and go look at our commercial. Our commercial area here was this little square down here in the corner. And I love the way this turned out. As you recall, we started off with this grocery store down here in the corner with a big parking lot there as well. And then I've got this monument sign that's kind of right behind it that just lets you know that, hey, you're, you're jumping into a really nice neighborhood. As I spin around here, you can see the signs that say Oceanport. It says pharmaceuticals, but I don't know. If you ask me, I still think it looks like a grocery store. And I love the fact that the store right immediately next door was also called Oceanport. And who knows? Maybe that is the pharmacy. Maybe that's the pharmacy part of the grocery store. Or maybe it's the liquor store. I'm not sure. Now we put in a lot of walking paths in this space because I wanted to make it very pedestrian friendly and we accomplished that. And we softened up the sides of some of these buildings with some you know, wild shrubs. We made a nice little fenced in backyard with some shrub, shrubs and plantings here. Nice tree lined sidewalks as well. And then we'll jump into our top five design element, which is our neighborhood bus station. Check that out. I love the way this turned out. It was a really a simple design when it's all said and done. We just got a little bus road that runs in. It turns into a two lane one way street. And and then we can zoom right in real quick before the bus gets there. You can see we got our little bus station in there and everybody's waiting. They're definitely making good use of this bus station. And then we put in some beautiful decor right in here, like this tree here, this bush tree. It's a birch tree, I'm sorry, with some lovely little flowers, a variety of different flowers that are in there, and these little hedge-lined sidewalks that uh, are nice, cozy, warm, and inviting. Now, if you take a peek behind the bus station here, you've got this row of hedges that goes one, two, three, and then a wild bush. One, two, three, and then a wild bush. I wanted to do something like that just to create some visual interest and a touch of elegance. Well, speaking of elegance, let's go jump over here and take a look at our neighborhood community gardens. You see this space down in here. We've got a whole variety of different flowers and plantings that are in here. And I call it the community gardens because as I was going through this build, I noticed that a couple of our neighbors here have little, uh, little gardening sheds that are set up in their backyards. So who knows? Maybe they're the ones that are taking care of it. They come out with their tools and they come in and do some weeding and feeding and take care of those beautiful plants. All right, let's zip along over to this area here. We've got a nice little park and we've got some hedges. Oh, the rain is starting to come down. We've got some nice little hedges that are out in front of it. And we took our crematorium and we nudged that back off the street just a little bit so we could drop in some additional flowers, plants, and hedges along that road. Just added a little bit of stately look to it. And then of course, we've got our soccer field right along here by the railroad tracks. A great place to put a soccer field because uh, they can compete to see which one is the noisiest. <laughs> but we also put some, some beautiful trees in there to line that up and a nice little hedge row out in the front. And then we've got these wild flowers and, and weeds and bushes tucked in back here, which might be you know kind of reminiscent of what you might see along the rail line. Oh, this is what we did today as well. We had some notes from our uh, previous episode where we built out the Bay Pass Tunnel. And Riot Leo and Gwen Wynn Brock, 6205, both made comments about how the grade was very steep and we did go in and, and ultimately fix that off camera. I just took the grade from the top of this little ridge down here all the way down to our, our tunnel connection down here below. And that grade now rests at about 5% which is still maybe a little bit more than you want it to be, but it's a market improvement over what it was. And you can see even the roads, we, you know, we tidied those roads up as well. As these plantings start to fill in, we won't see so many of the water artifacts. So I think we're in good shape here for now for our Bay Pass Tunnel. Okay, 
Well, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Boy, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. This one, this one was a lot of fun for me, and you know, it was a great you know, use of a of a crazy piece of land. Now, you're going to want to sit tight, stick around for the cinematics where we uh, wrap it all up and put it together. And just as a reminder, we are a small channel, and you know, you guys have been giving us a lot of love lately. Super, super appreciated. And you know, we've got uh, we've got some really fun, exciting things coming up for you. So if you see something that you like today, make sure to leave us a comment. Love hearing from you. And while you're at it, chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the happenings here in Pangasas Bay and our Grand Vanillica series as well. All right. With that, I'm going to bid you guys a fond farewell. But until next time, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>